another sign of Taurus. This is Kim here to do your reading for you all for your next 48 hours. I hope you're doing really good. Um, we're going to pull an Oracle card and then get into your tarot. So that's the plan. That is the plan. And let's see here. Let's get my Mukai. Mukai Jasper. Put that in the scene. All right. So Taurus, Taurus calling in your spirit guides, your angels, your higher self, higher power. Let's get messages for your greater good. And if you're interested in a private reading with me, you can get details in the description box because I am doing those for donation for a limited time. Um, for a limited time. So check that out. Taurus. Let's see what we've got. Spirit Animal Oracle right away. Right away. So we're guarded. We're guarded, first off. Set healthy boundaries. Be fearless and bold on the bottom. Beaver spirit, lay a solid foundation. Armadillo spirit, sell, set healthy boundaries. So this might be what the reading's going to be about, right? Beaver spirit, definitely really good at building things. Good at harmonious, also harmonious relationships and partnerships, too, uh, with the six. So it's important to lay a solid foundation. I'm going to look in the book real quick. Now, Armadillo Spirit, um, that might be in regards to you having, you know, making sure that you guard yourself for some reason. I wouldn't normally get that, but I'm going to read the protection message for this. It says, this is a tricky time as you might find yourself enmeshed with others, overly concerned with how they will take it if you say uh, yes or no or express how you really feel. Do you feel anxious about saying no to someone? So you calculate, even knowing the outcome will not be in your best interest. Do you feel like it's your job to stop someone from facing their challenges? Instead, you may take on the responsibility. Um, it says, face your fear, tell the truth, and set your boundaries. You will be amazed at the miracles that will happen when you let this spirit prevent you from taking on too much. It says, another message of protection from the armadillo spirit is to relax, live, and let live. If you or someone else is being defensive, then you're called to step back and trust in, spirit, in spirit's plan. Okay, number six. Beaver spirit, lay a solid foundation. Beaver spirit is here to tell you about the power living within you, born from spirit, the source of which all life arises. So you and co co-create. So you can co-create with spirit as your partner, helping you change the course of your life to the way that your life desires. Um, so it says... Um, uh, know that it takes work, determination, and sustained effort to co-create and lay this solid foundation for your dreams. Okay. So, building or building upon things. Um, maybe restructuring things, too. That kind of seems like it was a, a little bit of a side message there. Um, you can never tell whether or not... The cards are actually, yeah, okay. They're actually in one. And, okay. So it looks like I'm good with the cards. I think I'm going to pull another Oracle then. So Taurus. This is from the Oracle of Genetic Gifts. Telepathy. Ooh. That sounds like a very important big one. It says thought reading telepathy, extrasensory perception, ESP, telepathy, thought reading, thought reading. All right, going into the tarot then. This is the modern witch tarot, what we're going to pull from. Let's see what messages we get. Hey, spirit, spirit guides, angels, higher self, higher power. Let's get messages and let's attempt to do a Celtic cross general spread um, for the sign of Taurus. Next 48 hours or whenever this really resonates with them truly is the best time. 
right, what is the issue for Taurus? What's the issue for our Taurus? What's the issue, Spirit? Mm -hmm. The Knight of Swords. Change is coming in quick for you, Taurus. This might be something that you are aware of. It really could be something that you are very well uh, aware of. And um, if it is, and it's something you've been expecting, you can expect this to come in kind of fast. Um, the Knight of Swords, bringing in good change, uh, needed change, not necessarily anything good nor bad. It's just quick change, things that must be done in order to bring about change and to move forward. So in order to, I'm, I kind of meant in order to move forward to bring change. So yeah, the Knight of Swords, bring in change. The world on the bottom, so maybe the change is a new chapter that's coming around for you. What is the challenge here, Taurus? What's the challenge? Five of Pentacle energy, either feeling shut out. This is a few, this can mean a few types of worries, or it can actually just be all encompassing worry. That's what this can mean. The Five of Pentacles worry over health conditions um, regarding a serious health condition or, um, you know, finances, temporary finances, or a situation that is something that um, is going to pass, and you know this, but it's a particularly distraught, uh, distraught, it's a situation that makes you feel distraught until it is solved, right? Until it is solved. So, we're hopeful, and we're here, we feel the change, okay? We're hopeful, we feel the change. What's at the root of this? The Four of Swords, because we've healed a lot of things, we healed a lot of things within us, within our career, within our, well, uh, more importantly, within our mind, we have healed some, some things. Um, and emotionally, we've healed some things in our heart. So at the root of all of this, that's why this change is coming and taking place is because some things are healed and it's simply time to pull back and rest, heal, and then we move past this situation. So it really might be a health concern for somebody. It, it kind of makes sense to sit here, but or maybe the challenge is being shut out and isolated from people because you are sick or not feeling that well. Something like that. Um, what is the past energy? Eight of Swords in the reverse. It, it is like getting out of that um, stuck energy. If you felt stuck or felt guilty for feeling stuck. It's like that energy was lifted recent past. And then we have Ten of Cups underlying everything. So I feel like you're on your way to some really great completion for yourself. Something you'll be very happy about. Uh, the present energy, Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. So could be an opportunity that you have tried before in the past that you're being asked to try again. It can be something like that. Like if at first you don't succeed, try, try again. That's what I'm feeling with that Ace of Pentacles and the near future energy. Oh, see what I'm saying, you guys. Ten of Cups energy, upright. This is beautiful. This is emotional fulfillment. And I feel like something's going to take off with this Ace of Pentacles. Um, I will clarify at the, at the end the cards that I kind of like am iffy about, but I'm pretty sure that this is about trying something over and it being pretty successful. It doesn't always appear that way to me, but this time it is. And maybe you're also learning how to set healthy boundaries regards to money and finances and who you decide to help. That too is coming into my mind. So how do you feel about all this? That is part of the healthy uh, setting healthy boundaries for you. If somebody keeps asking you for money or assistance and they're not doing much of anything to help themselves, yeah, I might want to think twice about that. How do you feel? All right, there's something unhealthy about a mother figure around you or about like this Empress energy. It feels just really unhealthy at the moment. Whatever it is that's, that is being created, I've, I've definitely got to get another card for this. What else with the Empress in reverse? Okay, conflicts or arguing um, regarding 
this empress energy if this is a person it's fighting or arguing about this person if not it's arguing regarding uh, an unhealthy mother mother relationship whether it's mother son mother daughter mother step you know daughter-in-law it is something that's unhealthy right here so you're feeling that right now you're feeling the energy of that of the arguing and stuff like that so that's not that great but um Let's see what this is about. So in the um, situation around, or the environment around Taurus, what is in the environment around? Um, we have the Six of Swords, so moving away, moving away from one particular uh, way of dealing with things to another. Although looking back, there may be some regrets and some loss, um, still, it's like getting into this boat and really quick because in the environment you'll have to leave something behind if you want to go towards this ten of cups hopes and fears temperance so yeah you believe in divine timing but you're really hoping that something that somebody could say well that's just impossible to happen you're hoping that that's possible and you hope that things get resolved they will and and it is about divine timing here um, angels are on the scene behind the scenes behind the curtains making things move truly making things move okay so temperance could be a Sagittarius energy too what is the outcome or projected outcome? Oh, goodness. Okay, Ten of Swords. So definitely stopping something. Ten of Swords. No more fighting. Done with the fighting. That's what I'm feeling with that. That's why we're taking this time out. We're done with the fighting. It may be regarding a partnership or big decision with this lover's card coming into play. Okay? It might be over or regarding this Empress energy. This could be Gemini. This is about standing up and defending for or advocating somebody who either can't stand up for themselves or that you are just taking that role to stand up for them. Um, standing in your truth, putting an end to a situation, putting an end to a situation because you're wanting to. The Ten of Swords, something has gone on for too long and it is robbing the rest of your existence from this Ten of Cups. So that's why that right there has to end. And what's interesting is it's almost time because divine timing is now is my Seven of Pentacles in the reverse. But we have the Page of Wands. Whatever or whomever you end up defending... Um, and then making a big decision to end something, I'm telling you, it's going to come with some good news attached to it. Brand new beginnings, Taurus. Brand new beginnings. Something goes extremely right with this situation. And I know it looks like a bunch, but it looks like a bunch of stuff, and it is. It looks like you're going to be busy, um, but it's like divine timing is now. If you're fearing waiting, 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 waiting more for things to get lined up, they will never get perfect. Timing is now. The time will never be perfect. The time is now. That is your message. That is the main message for you. Oh, yeah. I said I was going to clarify, didn't I? I just got so much information there at the end that it's like, oh. I guess we're okay with that so let's see what are we sitting out or what are we um not wanting to fight about what is changing around us Tor uh for taurus tarot please help us more information for taurus oh wow it's, like it's repeating you're gonna be leaving hard times on your way for good times putting to rest an issue with authority, putting to rest an issue with authority or something that you felt like you didn't have control over. Um, good news coming in quickly, although feeling, somebody's feeling like there's not a genuine offer around them. Um, I don't know much about this offer. I just know that if there is an offer coming, 
make sure you just do your research on this offer to see if it is genuine but look it's good news this moves you forward whatever you end up dealing with you take control and you're disciplined and you you face it you have you face it head on so i mean towards i see really great things i see the endings i see new beginnings i see your ten of cups your finale I, I don't know what to say. There's just so much going on. It's very detailed, and there's very, there's a lot of different characters in it. We have the air signs, Aquarius, um, Scorpio, Capricorn, Sagittarius. I mean, just, just a lot, a lot of people here, too. So let's get tea leaves for you, and then I'm going to wrap up your reading tour. This is good. It's a good reading. Glad I could do it for you. Claw, be careful and do not take risks. Scales, keep your life in balance. Door, opportunities that are waiting for you. Money path, a path of money is waiting for you to find it. Pig, beware of greed. Throne, a position of authority. See, I think that's like moving away from authority issues. Issues with authority. Um, Axe, forces working against you. And flute, disappointment in a friend or lover. Disappointment in a friend or lover. All right, let's get one more card, though. I'm not settled yet. I want one more card from the Shaman's Dream. Let's get one more card from the Shaman's Dream. Four Taurus, please. Feeling like there is another message, guys. And there it is. There it is. You got the perfect storm. The courage to step into life. The perfect storm. The courage to step into life. Number 44. All right. And this one must have been really important to read to you. All right. The perfect storm. An invitation to act now, the courage to step into life, sheltered from the turbulence. Says this is the perfect storm for you to seize the day. This is the winds are picking up and you need to make sure that you are close to the eye of the storm. Um, the key is to remain centered and balanced and bear witness as the forces build intensity. Okay, says um, if you wonder what might what you might lose during the perfect storm, know that um, those things we're most attached to first are taken first and um, let it all go with the wind. The less you resist the change brought to you by the perfect storm, the happier you'll be. Ride the winds to your next destination. Embrace the rain or snow. And remember that every time you try to argue with nature, you lose. The perfect storm can be a call for you to seize the opportunity there might be a great opportunity that you need to take advantage of right now. Maybe that's the Ace of Pentacles in reverse is an opportunity that you need to take advantage of. So it says, time is of the essence. It may be gone shortly, so do not hesitate. Go ahead, bite off more than you can chew, and take the storm on and all its terrifying greatness. Experiencing the fullness of life because you will succeed. Yay. Thank you. Thank you, Taurus. Sending you love and light. Bye-bye.